in the model with um, Slack, um, we said that to find the market tightness, you have to equalize uh, aggregate supply and aggregate demand. And um, the market tightness is such that these two curves, these two quantities are equal. Um, but then we pointed out that you know, in the model, we, we assume that households are able to anticipate what the market tightness will be, and then you know, and then they make their decision based on that, and then when they make their decision based on that, the tightness that they anticipate is actually the tightness um, that's realized. And um, as we discussed, this requires quite a lot of rationality from households uh, and quite a lot of uh, yeah, logical thinking, and in particular when uh, there is heterogeneity, because then they need to understand the whole. Um, distribution of wealth and um, kind of income or capacity, uh, productive capacity in the economy. Um, but then we said that another way to see the model is that you have a statistical agency that's much more likely to understand all of this. The goal of the, of the statistical agency is to make correct prediction. And then if they announce the tightness and you know people just take that as given and uh, behave so as to maximize their utility, then the tightness that would be realized will be uh, the announced tightness if the government you know, announces a tightness such that uh, supply is equal to demand. Um, so we, we talked about that, but let's see, exa let's see exactly how this works out. So let's see why the government, if the statistical agency wants to be correct, they have to announce the tightness so that supply equal demand. Uh, and that would be, you know, once this is announced, that would actually be realized if they pick the tightness such that supply is equal to demand. Um, so let's see exactly how that worked out. So um, we're going to assume that um, the statistical agency announces a tightness that we can call X. Um, S for statistical agency. Okay, so let's say they announce that tightness, uh, and then we're going to assume that households take XS as given. <coughs> okay, so if they take XS as given, it means that. So, you know, they are going to maximize their utility subject to budget constraint, but taking excess uh, as if it was true. And therefore, we know that uh, also I will aim to buy yi of xs, which, uh, you know, based on the calculation that we had done, would be sigma of excess, marginal propensity to spend, times f of excess, ki plus mu i over p, because of course the household expect to sell um, fraction f of excess of its services, so they expect their income to be x of excess ki, and their total income, including initial wealth, to be f of the excess ki plus mu i p, and of that, they are going to spend a fraction sigma of excess. Okay? Um, therefore, and so from that, for the household, this only requires to be able to do the best they can by maximizing utilities. There is no like strategic or logical thinking required beyond that. So also I will visit VI of excess is equal to YI. of excess divided by Q of excess, because they expect that each visit will be successful with probability Q of excess. Okay. And um, as a result, the realized tightness
will be, and that's the key, because the tightness is, you know, here is something that set that arises from the from the behavior of all households. So the realized tightness will be uh, x. So the true tightness, and of course that tightness depends on will depend on xs. So x will be the sum of the vi of xs divided by the sum of the ki. This is the ki's are amount of services supplied. These are just exogenous. And so that's going to be the sum of the yi of xs divided by q of xs, sum of the ki. The sum of the ki we can just denote it by k as usual. Okay, that's just using what we have <coughs> above. So x, the real tightness, will be equal to uh, sigma xs. f of xs k plus mu sur p this is using um, the expression we have above here uh, for yi and that's going to be divided by q of xs times k Okay, and th therefore uh, x over xs, so the gap between the true, I should say that x here is our realized tightness, yes, uh, realized tightness x, the gap between the realized and advanced tightness will be sigma of xs, f of xs, k plus mu over p, divided by, and so here I divide everything by excess, so I have excess Q of excess and excess K. Okay, and this excess Q of excess, we know that this is F of excess, and so F of excess K, this we know in turn, this is just Y S of excess, okay? Uh, and notice that f of xs k that we have here, that's also ys, the aggregate supply of the tightness xs. Okay, so now uh, the key step is that the statistical agency uh, aims they have no other obje objective but to make a correct forecast. Okay. Uh, they aim to announce xs such that xs is equal to x because x is a realized forecast so that's their key objective here so they are aiming to announce xs so just xs is equal to x okay um, So they understand that a, a different amount, different announcement will lead to different behavior, but their sole goal is that so they make an announcement, this would lead to a behavior, but they want that they, uh, what they've announced is actually realized. Um, so if we go up, they want excess is equal to X. So it means that this, that must be, one, okay, so they want uh, xs is equal to s. So what they'll do is that they'll 
the annals excess such that um, so the ratio excess over x is one so the, that means they are going to announce excess such as ys of excess is going to be equal to sigma excess so here i'm just gonna equalize the numerator and denominator um, here in my ratio because i want the ratio to be one so the denominator is ys of excess and the numerator is sigma excess <coughs> Ys of excess plus mu over p. Uh, okay, but then uh, here what we can do is we can reshuffle the ys of excess. So we get 1 minus sigma excess ys of excess equal to sigma xs mu over p. And then that means that ys of excess must be equal to sigma excess divided by 1 minus sigma excess mu over p. Um, but here, this thing you recognize is actually the aggregate demand curve yd at excess, as we have showed earlier. So basically, uh, here what we see, the key result is that the statistical agency announces What they are going to announce is, uh, oops, so they announce excess such that uh, ys of xs is equal to yd of xs. So basically, in our model, <coughs> uh, oh, that's an, one ugly. Uh, that's one ugly s. Yes. Uh, well, anyway. Um, so basically, in our model, whether it's with homogeneous or heterogeneous agents, um, if the statistical agency wants to make the correct uh, forecast about tightness, what they have to do is they have to figure out what is the aggregate supply. What is the aggregate demand? They have to find the tightness of that supply is equal to demand. They'll announce that, and once they announce that, and people take it as given, then that tightness will actually be realized. Um, and so, indeed, the market tightness is a tightness of that supply is equal to demand once again. So, um, since X, which is a realized tightness, equal xs, which is the forecast tightness, um, then ys of x is equal to yd of x. So basically, in a world in which the statistical agency wants to be correct and makes an announcement about uh, tightness, they're going to make to announce the tightness of that supply is equal to given. People will take it as given, and it will turn out that that's the tightness that will be uh, realized. And this model is a bit more appealing because it requires much less rationality from the part of household. The only thing they have to do is listen to the statistical agency and then do the best they can given what has been announced and given their, uh, given their budget constraint and their preferences. Um, and nevertheless, what comes out of the model will be you know, the tightness at the intersection of supply and demand. Uh, of course, a shortcut is to, which is kind of what we had done so far and which is what is often done in macro is to assume that uh, people can uh, take as given the tightness that will be correct and uh, and then given that tightness do the best they can but of course you know um, it's a little bit hard to wrap your head around the you know around the mechanism through which household would be able to figure out what the what the prevailing tightness is going to be that's uh, you know, it's a little bit the same way that it's hard to understand, you know, exactly like how 
household will be able to form rational expectation. You know, it seems just implausible that people understand the whole structure of the economy in a way that they can forecast what's going to happen. Um, but so here there's a, a very easy workaround, which is that the government just makes an announcement and their sole goal is to be correct, and then everything is going to uh, everything is going to work out right. And and so you know in this in this model everything is going to work out fine. And so then you know just assuming that uh, looking at the tightness of that supply is equal to demand, and assuming that people can. Uh, figure out you know, what would be the prevailing tightness, it's not too much of a stretch then uh, in a world like this.